Hi everyone, hope you are having a great week so far and welcome to a new episode of Now in Android, number 77. Your ongoing guide to what's new and notable in the world of Android development. In this episode, we are covering the Android 14 developer preview, compose layouts and modifiers from Mad Skills, stable releases for browser and work manager, and more. I'm really excited to share that Android 14 Developer Preview 1 is now available with the latest features and changes to try with your apps. Install a system image and update the tools to get started. During this phase, we are looking for your feedback, so please let us know what you think. Visit the feedback page to report an issue or submit a new feature request. Feel free to explore the new features, APIs, and behavior changes. Some notable changes in core functionality include the Schedule Exact Alarm permission, which is no longer being pre-granted to newly installed apps targeting Android 13 and higher. Context register broadcast may be placed in a queue while the app is in the cache state. And to improve security and privacy for users, starting with Android 14, apps with a target SDK version lower than 23 can't be installed. There are also some behavior changes that apply exclusively to apps that are targeting Android 14 or higher. For example, exporting behavior for a runtime register broadcast or new restrictions to implicit and pending intents. Android 14 also introduces foreground service types for help and remote messaging use cases and require you to specify at least one foreground service type for each foreground service in your app. We have launched a new math skill series focusing on Jetpack Compose layout and modifiers. The series has three new episodes covering fundamentals of Compose layout modifiers and the mental model of how Compose APIs transform data into UI. In the first episode, Simona explained the fundamental of Compose layouts and modifiers. It helps you understand how layout and modifiers work together, what out-of-the-box APIs Compose offers, and how to beautifully style your UI. In the second episode, Yolanda helps you create a mental model of how the out-of-the-box Compose API actually transforms data into UI. With this mental model, you will have a better understanding of how the different phases in Compose work. In the third episode, Yolanda helps you understand how the order of modifiers in the modifier chain influences the size of the composables. Since the previous episode, there have been some Android X releases worth highlighting. Graduated to stable, Browser 1.5 added new features such as ability to specify initial launch height of a custom tab, toolbar stop corner radius, set the position of the close button on the toolbar, and notify when a custom tab is resized. Work Manager 2.8 introduces a new way to update periodic work that allows ongoing work to continue. It also introduced several API changes such as ability to intercept scheduling exceptions, improved Rx worker support, and so on. The Compose Material 3 1.1 Alpha 6 added new features and API changes, including support for prefix and suffix text in text fields, time picker function for Material 3 compliant time pickers, model bottom sheet implementation for Material 3, and more. With Lifecycle 2.6 Beta 1, the Lifecycle owner and View Model Store owner are now written in Kotlin. This also introduces source incompatible changes for classes written in Kotlin. Last but not the least, the Compose Compiler 1.4.1 and 1.4.2 focuses on fixing recomposition bugs. Okay, let's move on to the new articles we published. In the Migrating Sunflower to Jetpack Compose blog post, Chris shares his experiences with this process. The blog post highlights the migrating strategy in practice and provides steps you can take to devise a plan to migrate your app. In a new Jetpack Compose blog post, the Android team shares how Compose Camp has helped developers across different experience level to build Android apps with Jetpack Compose. The post also highlights some campus experiences and learning tips. It was great to see hundreds of thousands of you around the world participate in the Compose Camp. 
Summers wrote about how to use Android ShareSheet 2 for sharing deep link content. The article will show why you should use the ShareSheet and demonstrate how to use it with linked content. Mozart wrote about how to deal with color washout. The article talks about the best way to transcode 10-bit HDR video to 8-bit SDR video and ensure support for devices that cannot display HDR content. Diego wrote about how Android's new credential manager can bring sign-in solutions and pass keys together. Credential Manager is a new Jetpack API that allows app developers to simplify their users' authentication journey while also increasing security with support of pass keys. We also have a couple of new videos to highlight. Simon recorded one that visualizes different aspects to consider when creating apps for everyone regardless of permanent, temporary, or situational disabilities. And Robert recorded a video to show all the ways you can use custom store listing to boost conversions and reach more users for your app. And that's it for this time. You can find all the links to the content in the Now in Android episode 77 blog post on Medium. To get notified about future episodes, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the Android Developers YouTube channel. And come back here soon for the next update from the Android Developer Universe. Bye!